Michael White. And Anthea Mofitis. So welcome back to our evening show. As I said, we've just noticed that we've started to have a lot more success with an evening show. So we've decided to deliver an evening show. Um, before we get started, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Yes, please. Go for it. <laughs> We're some requirements for this channel. It's free. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's it. We give you guys banging content. It's free. Now, I know that you guys might feel like, oh, this is rehashed content. We can hear this on other channels. But with us, it's a little different because you get the male and female perspective and you get the epiphany moments. You get the you get a whole bunch of fun things on this channel, which yeah. we will be delivering more fun things as time continues. So I'm going to play a promo video. We're going to get started and we're going to have a fun time today. Let's do it. Okay, so we actually have a video to share, but before we do all of that fun stuff, we are going to break down the topic. Is there an issue with women calling themselves queens? Now, the reason why this topic is so important is because you have a lot of women going around saying how much of a queen they are, how they need to be treated as such. I'm not saying that women should be treated poorly. I would never say that. I would never advocate that. Everybody should be treated with respect, dignity, all those fun, loving things. But once you start saying that, hey, I should be treated like a queen, now we have a problem. You know what I mean? So uh, We had a great me, conversation about this, didn't we? We did. And, and that's why, as I said, it, we needed to come up because, you see, we ran a poll on Instagram about it. And we said, is it empowerment? Or is it, or is it more of a sense of it, it doesn't make sense? And literally, it's like a 50-50 because a lot of people see it as empowerment, and that's fine. But at the same time, it, it can also be you know insecurities, right? So that's why I wanted to ask Anthea how she feels about the whole thing, and then we'll play today's video. I think it depends on how someone's turning up and saying it, because if you're coming with attitude and you're saying, well, I need to be treated like a queen, then, um, yeah, it's not really the right way to go about it. And I think through our conversation, we had kind of come to that conclusion where, you know, if you're saying you're a queen, that's like, that's like me saying I'm a police officer. I'm not. I can't say that. I, they, you know, <laughs> a queen is, I mean, here in the UK, we, have, we actually have a queen. And um, I just want to say, if you was a queen, you would definitely not be on social media. Um, you probably definitely wouldn't be answering polls. And you definitely wouldn't be just going for an average man out there. Um, so you're definitely not a queen because a queen comes, it, it gets united. It, what is the word? It gets given to you in a way. Is it called unite? What's it? What's the it, word? Well, it's bestowed upon you. That's the word that's actually given right. to you. So, so it's bestowed upon you, if right? If we were to put it into context, and again, some people can get mad. A man deems you a queen. Yes, in the that man sense. That you're attached to deems you a queen. Now, somebody, yeah. some people might not like that. They might be like, well, I'm a queen regardless if I have a man or not. Listen to today's video after, because we're going to be sharing a video, and you'll hear the perspective of why it doesn't make sense. Um, but again, a man deems you that, right? Because you're attached to him. If we, if you, And again, not everybody shares the mindset or view, but if you are married to a man and you consider him the head of the household, the decision maker, um, you're following his plays, you're his queen, he's your king. Right? And that's, but that's one thing, isn't it, Michael? Mm -hmm. But he deemed you so because he was the one that got down on one knee and proposed. You see what I'm saying? He proposed and said, I want to make you my queen. So that is something that I wanted to share quickly. Is there anything else you want to add, Anthea? Well, yeah, because if it's, I mean, if you're you're with a man and he's your king and you're his queen, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. But I think if you're walking around saying you're a queen, then you're not. 
because mm. a queen is a queen. So you can't just <laughs> night well, where are the qualities, right? Well, like, yeah, the you just you the queen, the queen over here doesn't walk around saying, Oh, I'm the queen, um, or treat me like the queen. Everyone just knows she's the queen in the story. Well, and it's the same thing with the police officer. You don't see a police officer running around saying, I'm a police officer. Like, no, he just is a police officer. Yeah. So it's like, in a way, someone's trying to prove something to, yeah. to themselves and to others. So, but like you rightfully said, in a relationship, I think that's a completely that's, different thing altogether. Fine. Yeah, because you're in that relationship and you want to call yourselves, listen, people have their own names for each other. And whatever that is, that's down to you. It's got nothing to do with anybody else. You want to call yourself a queen, a king. Uh, whatever it whatever that whatever that suits you but to go out and say to people i am a queen then you're not that doesn't it does not work like that in this world no. i mean everyone has um like if i if like i couldn't work all around saying i'm a firewoman um as you know because <laughs> yeah, I'm a firewoman. <laughs> no I you know what fine let's go there let's go there <laughs> that's like you saying i'm a firewoman well have you put out any fires uh, no, no. I just like to wear the costume. Yeah, and call myself a firewoman. I'd be deemed quite um, insane, shall we say? Well, it's the same thing. If we were to hypothetically take it into this way, imagine if a lion went around saying, "I'm a lion." Hey, Mister Gazelle, right over there. I'm a lion. I'm gonna eat you. And he's gonna be like, "What?" He just does <laughs> lion things. You see what I'm saying? Like he just does lying things so we're gonna yeah. jump into today's video <laughs> which is going to discuss specifically this topic and again you're either after this gonna love us or you're gonna hate us like those, those are your options so uh get ready to hear today's topic you're gonna love it um do... and we're gonna break her video down so let's get hear what she has to say um, she's a married woman, so again, I take her advice very seriously. Not that if someone's not single, I wouldn't take their advice, but with a woman that's married, you can tell that there's a different, um, she's moving a different way because you see she was able to acquire a man and retain him, so it's different. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll hear what she has to say. To a video that I came across the other day, uh, it was quite cringy. Me and my husband both watched the video and we were disturbed by it because I know that there are women out here who use the term queen as a way to boost their self-confidence. It's a term of endearment and it's used by men as well. Um, you know, you hear the phrase kings and, and queens and some like to relate it to some type of African connection, saying as though that they came from kings and queens, although that is not true. Everyone did not come from a king or a queen. And even if you did come from a lineage where there was royalty, you are not a king or a queen. So I, I think we all have a pretty good understanding that people don't actually believe that they are from a monarch and that they have some lineage to royalty. But I want to touch on some points related to our image. Um, and as a black woman, I'm kind of always coming from a perspective as, as a woman of color, <laughs> as a African American, as a black woman, because that's what I am. But I've seen other groups of women use the term queen as well, but I will admit not as much as in the black collective. So the first point I want to address is that this term queen um, it's like playing a game with yourself, you know, it's like knowing that you're not really a, a king or a queen, but you're using it as a way, I don't know, to boost your self-confidence or your self-esteem. And there's nothing wrong, wrong with giving someone a compliment. Like people tell me that all the time on Instagram. They're like, queen, you look good, queen. And, you know, there are t-shirts and mugs with queen on them. And it's, it's a fun thing. People have queen theme parties and queen themed events and I think, I think it's just a way to have fun but then we have these extreme examples 
where women are actually walking around calling themselves a queen, like to other people. My husband made the point that in your household, you may be the queen or the princess of your home, and you may look at you know, yourself or your, your spouse as the, the king and as the queen. And there's nothing wrong with that, to have that personal uh, perception of yourself as though you are royalty. It could be a fun thing that you do in your house. But when you go out into society and you represent yourself in a way where you are telling other people that you are a king, that you are a queen, as though you should be treated as some sort of royalty or better than someone else because of your skin color, because of your position in life, or because of some ideology that you've developed for yourself, then it's getting kind of weird. This was an important topic for me to address with young women because there's a lot that's happening on social media and pop culture and you may be absorbing this and thinking in thinking, you know, it's appropriate, but it's not appropriate to refer to yourself as a queen in any setting, but with your friends, with your boyfriend, girlfriend, your husband, inside your home. These are all the only places where it's not looked at as very strange, weird, or obnoxious. No one has to treat you good because you're black, because you do this, because you do that, because you're white, because you're Asian. Like no one has to give you some special respect because you're a woman or because you're a man. You know, you kind of earn your respect in society. And when people disrespect you, I want you to understand that it doesn't give you the authority to just go crazy. Like this is a lesson I had to learn and some of these lessons were learned hard. Okay, is there anything you want to say, Anthea, mm -hmm. before I... She, yeah, she covered some really good points there. You cannot, it's, and I agree with her. I thoroughly, I so agree with her. You can't walk around and say to people, you should be treating me in this certain way and I'm above every anybody else because of A, B, C or D. It doesn't work like that. Everyone should just respect one another and everyone has the same level of respect. Um, within your household, it's a whole new story. It's a different ball game altogether because that's in your household. You can refer to each other as you please in your household and you can see one another as, as however you choose to see that. But to actually go to people and say, I'm a queen, you must treat me like a queen. Well, that is weird. It is mm -hmm. very weird. Like as far as I'm concerned, if someone comes to me and says, you need to treat me like a queen, uh, why? Like explain why, why, why would I need to treat you like a queen? If they said, oh, because I've got a degree in, in what science. Well, what does that mean? What does that actually mean? It does, you know, at the end of the day, um, like she rightfully said as well, even if, even if you've come from that as your heritage from, from God knows how many years ago, yeah. they were the kings and queens, you are not. And it doesn't mean you're putting yourself down, no. It's not about putting anybody down. It's about being level-headed <laughs> and being grounded. And I feel like it's just a lot of gaslighting. Um, yeah, it is a lot of gaslighting. I, 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 I do feel like it's a lot of gaslighting because you see, like as she says, and she's about to jump into the behaviors because if we're honest, if you're running around here saying yourself you're a king, you're a queen, you're this and that, okay, then why don't you run around saying off with his head? Oh, well, Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, come on now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and why are you not having people driving you around all day? Why are you living in a normal area in a normal home? Like, that would it just wouldn't be. You'd have protection around you. There'll be things. You, your lifestyle wouldn't. Your lifestyle wouldn't be what it is if you was a queen. It's as straight, yeah. quite straightforward as that. It's like even when Prince William decided to leave and go mm. and do his own thing, they well, he took gave his up. Name. He gave yeah. up his he gave up he gave it up so he's now being treated as normal well yeah. well i suppose he's still not being treated as normal because people still see him like that because he's been carrying that for i don't know how old he is is he 35 yeah, but he still maybe? gave up like I, yes he still had to give it up right and when he gave that part up, of it anymore now he's just right he's, he's still william but he's not prince william you see because he decided to walk away from right 
but when he walked away, what happened? All his privileges were taken too. Exactly. So he's no, so he no longer is called a prince either. So mm -hmm. how comes he, somebody who's already been there and actually had that name and been born into that, can have that name taken away from them and can no longer call himself a prince, but somebody born in your normal society to say that they're a queen and to be treated like a queen. I mean, come on. Like, yeah. come on, honestly, there's, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. And I don't see why, how anyone thinks they could be to stand and say that you're better than somebody else and say, well, so what are you trying to say the other person is then? So if you're looking at someone and saying, well, I'm a queen, and I want you to treat me like a queen. So how are you going to treat me? Are you going to treat me like a queen? Like well, I actually want to shout out the YouTuber Naturally Fashion for doing this. 100%. I want to shout her out. The link will be in the video for you guys to watch it down below. But I do want to touch on what Anthea said. You see, what people need to realize is in a relationship context, what people will do is once they get into a relationship, because maybe from their past previous person, they were treated as such. Right. Like this person might have like took them out to fancy dinners. This person might have driven them in fancy cars. This person might have been giving them money like every month. So they were kind of treated like royalty to some degree in their previous relationship. So let's say the relationship ended now that they get into other ones. Now they're like, well, you know, uh, Chad or Sarah used to treat me like such a king or such a princess. And you're like. Probably that's why the relationship ended. Because yeah, because was, of the, sorry. No, no, it was probably too demanding. First, yeah, of all. it's putting yourself on a pedestal, and actually, it doesn't. You know, I just you know who just kept coming come to my head just there was like Paris Hilton. Mm. Paris Hilton is obviously known to be the it girl going around, but she's never called herself a queen or a princess. But she's treated very well. She's treated like one, yes. She's treated like one, but she doesn't call herself one. And but we have I don't to ask know. herself. But we have to ask herself: Has she qualified for that? No, because no. that's why she. That's why she wouldn't call herself that because she hasn't qualified for that. Just because her mm -hmm. dad is the Hilton and who yeah. she comes from and all and all like her family, she still doesn't walk around and demand to be called a queen. She is uh, she is um, Paris Hilton, and. So in that sense, she she has got a certain way that she's treated because of her family, mm. but it still does not come into the category of a queen. And See, she's I'm gonna like, I'm gonna drop the droplet in the water, and what I mean by that is, do you necessarily have those qualities? That's what it comes down to. Is not just about being a good person, but like let's say you're a female. And again, a lot of the things that we talk about on this podcast, you're submissive, you're agreeable, you're cooperative, you're all of these things that a man wants. And he deems those wife quality and wants to make you his queen. Then you can take on that moniker because that man has deemed you so within the relationship context. It's yes. the same thing if a woman has met a man and he has checked off all of her requirements of what it is she's looking to feel safe and she's like, man, like this guy is my king. This is my guy. She has deemed that man king worthy because of certain quali qualities that he has and has displayed. And it's interesting you said that because I knew somebody not that long ago who was in a relationship and it was a, a quite a, a shambles relationship. But because she wanted to keep, she wanted to prove to everybody that this guy was her man, even though he was with many women, um, she called him her king. And I found that really interesting. And I just thought that's the, the reason, I, I felt the reason why she was calling him that was just so that she can say, well, you know, this is my man. And he's my, he's like, she sees him as her king, although he doesn't do the things a king would do in any way, shape or form. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, that's up to her. It's completely her choice. But hearing that word being thrown around like that was like, really? Like, what he didn't you have king like qualities. Like, he didn't no. have the qualities no. to be bestowed upon the title to be like, damn, like that guy yeah. is still, that guy is a, that makes so much sense. 
So yeah, yeah, let's continue the video and then we'll hear what she has to say. And just because someone bumps into you or says something that you think is inappropriate, you don't want to go black queen on them, okay? It's, it, it's cringy and it doesn't help our image as a whole, in particular for African-American women. I'm not really referring to African women in this because I think Africans really have a strong suit as far as how they're able to cultivate um, their image to the world. Um, I think they are tight knit in certain ways where the black collective in American culture is not. And so I'm really referring to African American women when I say that this is what people think of you. And so to me, it's not even a race thing. It's how you conduct yourself. Part of it can be racial as well, but you are doing yourself a disservice when you go out into society and force people to view you as something that you know you are not, I know you are not, and the world knows you are not, okay? You can only be a queen if you are part of a monarch or if you win the title of a queen in a beauty pageant. These are the only queens. And so if you want to model yourself after a queen, you know, men do it too, call women queens and things of that nature, and they're doing it to be nice and to be sweet, but a queen is regal. A queen is classy, a queen is composed, a queen dresses well, a queen knows how to handle herself in different situations. A queen would never curse someone out publicly, maybe behind closed doors, but definitely not in public. There are certain things a queen would not say in public. Look at the queen of England, look at how stiff she is. That is because she knows she has to protect her image. And ladies, we have to protect our image, especially you young ladies who are just starting out in life. We don't want people to think we're insane, walking around thinking we're actual queens and we just... Go ahead. You see, she listed off the qualities. You see yeah. what I'm saying? She listed yeah. off the qualities. Composure. Yeah. Yeah. And um, if you really watch the if you really watch the Queen of England over here, she is very stiff and she and she's, you know, and if you think of a queen, the responsibility behind a queen. I mean, I don't think many women could take on that responsibility without being grown up in that in that environment to actually understand what it is to be a queen. There's a it's, you know. A queen just isn't a word. There's, it comes with so with much responsibility, like a lot said. of responsibility. Absolutely. Well, even if we were to put it into the relationship context, the responsibility is how you take care of your man. Absolutely, and how and you are we, within. We yeah, that, yeah, exactly. How you are with him, how you treat him within you your know, household, within your household, like all of it, right? So there's there's a responsibility attached to that. Which, again, a lot of people, as you said, can't measure up, men and women. You know what I mean? Sometimes we do fall short. But, you know, it, it, I love the fact that she's bringing up the qualities, the way they dress. Yes. How they talk. How they present themselves. And they wouldn't drive. They wouldn't be getting in a car, driving along and start cursing because somebody cut up in front of them. <laughs> you know? <laughs> It wouldn't happen where people who are calling themselves queens outside of their household would do that. So really, you don't have the qualities are not there because if they were, like I said, you wouldn't be like like happily skimming through social media or doing. There's there's completely different things to being a queen. It's not your normal lifestyle, man. It's like it's not a normal lifestyle. I mean, just just look at, just go and pick a couple of few countries and go and check out how a queen lives and then tell us if you are a queen. And if you if you match exactly how they are, then okay. Then maybe you can say you're, you've got queen-like qualities. Ah, see, exactly. You might have queen-like qualities. I feel like a lot of times there's a lot of gaslighting. And again, ladies, it's no offense towards you. Men do it too. There's a lot of gaslighting in bad behavior. Mm. So they'll be like, oh, girl, you're so awesome. You're so this. You're so... And then you're like... She's like none of those things. But they'll gaslight her or him. Men don't do it as much because, like, we'll be like, no, like, he's an idiot. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> like literally, it'll just be like he's an idiot. Like men are just very like that. But I feel that the gaslighting it does happen with men, but I'm just saying with women, there's a lot of gaslighting because let's say you got like five girls and they're all like, "Oh, you're so lovely, you're so wonderful," and then when she leaves the group, we're like, "Damn, Becky's a B." <laughs> so true you know what i mean or so like true. becky's whatever yeah it's funny so, that um that women or females are like that actually i'm not saying i mean there's a lot of females that are not like that but there's also lots that are like that um but yeah i think you know uh, on on the overall here what we what we're saying is yes inside your household call yourself anything you want to call yourself within your household within your family within your um within your relationships or whoever it is but stepping outside and asking or telling somebody to treat you as this is the person you it's like me going up to someone and saying well yeah i'm a policewoman um so i'm gonna arrest you and they say where's your badge well i don't have it where's like have you had any training nope um, who do you work for? I work for myself. No, no, I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing <laughs> at the fact because, like, when you said policewoman, imagine if someone comes up to me, comes up to you, and says, "Help, police officer! There's a crime! <laughs> I need your help!" And you don't do anything. You're just like, "Well, I'm not really one. I just like wearing the outfit." Yeah, I just like standing. I don't like. The, I don't want the responsibility of being a police officer. I just like wearing the outfit. I just had an image. <laughs> it's like what? Like, you know what I mean? Like, and that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, it's like, again, and I'll try to keep it as PG as possible. It's like, if you dress like, like very sexual promiscuous and a guy comes up to you and says, how much a night? Oh, I don't do that type of work. I just like to wear the outfit. <laughs> it's like, what? Oh, okay. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm, that's what we're pretty much saying is, there's a responsibility that comes with certain things. So if you dress a certain way or perceive yourself in a certain way, like as a female, you dress very scandalously clad, which we've talked about on the podcast, a man is going to perceive you as like, she's a girl that's just maybe bedroom fun, or maybe she, you know, does extra work. And now we got only fans. So, you know what I mean? It's like, he's not, he might not take you too seriously. Mm -hmm. exactly. Because the, the girl just said it in the, in the, in the video. And how she dresses is also a part of that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Because you wouldn't see the queen walking around. I with, hope not. Well, with high, <laughs> with high heels and a mini skirt. Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> and a boob tube on. Yeah, no, no offense to her. I just hope not. But yeah, like, you see what I'm saying? So I don't like, even think, you know, youthful day she walked around like yeah, maybe that. Maybe youthful day, could, yes. you No, know, she wouldn't be allowed to. There was, it, There's no way she would get, like, you can't just listen if you're a queen there's a lot of things you can't you can't just go shopping yeah. you're just gonna go oh i'm just gonna pop out down to the i'm just gonna pop to the shop or i'm gonna go and get myself a takeaway it doesn't work like that it just does not work like that so anyway so we'll continue the video guys and then uh Just deserve special treatment because we're black or white or we have this job position and we think we're a queen now. We don't want people to think that we are crazy. Let me tell you, this can hurt you in the job market. This can hurt you in dating. This can hurt you in networking. And this can hurt you in building relationships. So I implore you to please be careful about this queen talk. I know what you're saying, okay? I know you're saying, I think highly of myself. I think that I am special. It's translating as you have low self-esteem. It's translating as though you need something so bad that you will make yourself an imaginary queen. Is that the image you really wanna to portray to the world as a whole? Is that the image you wanna move forward with in society? If you want to be treated with respect, if you want people to honor you, carry yourself as such, dress appropriately, speak eloquently, carry yourself with respect, treat people right, learn how to control your emotions in situations where you feel you are being mistreated. 
I have had to learn this myself. Like I said, some of it the hard way. I don't want that for you. I want you to thrive in career, in life, in love. And I do want you to feel good about yourself. Let me tell you, you are made in God's image. You are not trash, okay? We are made in God's image. We are not trash, whether we're a part of the royal family or we're not a part of the royal family, whether you're rich or whether you're middle class or whether you're on the come up right now, God made you to do great things. And there is nothing wrong with having self-esteem and feeling good about yourself. But when you project yourself in a way where it, it, it doesn't even look remotely close to a queen and you start wanting other people to treat you in certain ways that just aren't factual or that are just right out weird, we have a problem. We all want to be respected, but this woman wants absolute respect, absurd respect, Queen B level. Is there anything else you want to add before we continue? Yeah, that last bit that she just said. She's so right because oh, I can't think. Of, basically, she's saying, "You, if you're not a queen, just don't say it." I mean, it, it, it. You know, like I, I often think to myself when I leave the planet, how am I going to be thought of? Now, I would never want to be thought of the woman that walked around saying that she was a queen. <laughs> like it doesn't make sense. That's true. Right? Yeah, you got to think of it. Think of it long term too. Like, you know, and when you, if you are single and you're saying that, and I think you said this earlier on, Michael, as in a similar way, you know, if you're single and then you're looking for a man and then you find a man and then he finds out that, you know, people have said to him, Oh, are you with the girl that kept on calling herself a queen? Is that what you're talking about? Yep. You're going to feel quite, I'd, I mean, I know I'd feel quite embarrassed because we are we are children of god we have all been given the same power and we can we are here to make a huge difference in the world and just being alive is a huge difference to the world everything True. we do even though people think that like they they might not be worth anything within the world the fact that you're alive you've got a purpose here otherwise you wouldn't be here in the first place so she's so right you don't need to be calling yourself a queen to have that self esteem in the first place have that self esteem because you are here for greatness and you it's the same with everybody nobody was born with an injection to be someone better than anybody else even the queen isn't better than us she's just got different qualities to us that's all it is and responsibilities just, and responsibilities and she lives a different lifestyle to us but you've got the rich and famous they're no better than anybody else that's not rich and famous it just means that they've got different qualities and different responsibilities to what we have or to whoever you know so I think she's made a really good point there is just to really just humble yourself and know that you are here for a reason you are greatness and you are children of god and you have got a reason to be here and you don't need to call yourself a queen in order to gain respect from anybody agreed so let's let this guy finish his point because i guess the video is attached to it i actually didn't watch this part so this part's new um so it'll be very interesting respect and i think that requiring this level of respect is pervasive among black women specifically this phenomenon is so ubiquitous it has become a cliche in film okay i'm your son yeah. next come on up here baby hurry up now i ain't got over oh. we'll stop We'll stop it there because we don't want to infringe on uh, anyone else's things. But um, you see, she brought up some interesting points. Um, as she said near the end, it's not that you should ever diminish yourself. You should never devalue your quality or anything like that. But you should never go out demanding that you be treated in such a way that is higher or above anyone else. Now, what you do in your relationship, 100% your business. That's your man, that's your woman, that's your queen, that's your goddess, that's your whatever. Adam and Eve, no problem. But you also need to understand that if you're single, going around, calling yourself queen, you might be scaring the men away. Mm, for because sure. Because he might not want to deal with that because he's going to be like, 
that woman's high maintenance. That woman is X, Y, Z. She's going to be very demanding. She's going to be uncooperative instead of cooperative. And he might, just might not want to deal with that. So the, the men that you want, like let's say you want a man, you're scaring them off now with that with with that mentality of I'm a queen. Now, again, we also have to watch what we use it in context. As she said, you use it with your girlfriends, you use it with whatever. They understand you, fine. But then when you start gaslighting yourself and letting it go to your head, now it becomes a problem. Mm -hmm. And that's where the problem lies. You let it go into your head. You have this new mentality. Or let's say, for example, you're a guy or a girl and you've dated people in the past and they've treated you that way. Now, like once you've exited those relationships, now you have this mentality mm -hmm. of when I date somebody, they have to treat me like that. You've set a standard. So like, let's say you're a girl and you've had guys shower you with gifts, take you out, yachts, whatever. That, if that's your thing, fine. But now you have that expectation of every guy. Every guy's got to take you to 200, 200 dinner dates. He's got to swoon you. He's got to do all these things to prove to you that, like, you know, to kind of show up for you and do all these things. Because you feel that you're such a queen and you just automatically deserve them without reciprocating anything back. And the point that she made was it's not factual. That too. <laughs> that too. And yeah, I'm, you know, everything you just said is so on point. And on top of it, it's not factual. If it's facts, right. like a belief is just a thought. Where's the evidence? <laughs> yeah, where's the, like, where, where's, yeah. The evidence? where's the evidence? Things are called facts and beliefs are called beliefs because there are reasons. A belief is something that you experience and you come to your own conclusion. But a fact is proven fact that it's, it is what I it is. I love that you said that your beliefs are your beliefs. You see, that's the difference. Your beliefs are like what you and yourself negotiate with you. Yep. But facts are facts. Like if I drop a rock, the fact is it's going to hit the ground. Yes. That's a fact non-negotiable can't argue with nope. but for someone saying oh, i'm a king i'm a queen that could be argued absolutely on multiple levels absolutely absolutely now, if you're dating somebody and they treat you as such and you both do that to each other that's not a problem we're just saying that the gaslighting needs to stop yeah. that's where that's the problem there's too much gaslighting yeah, it does. It, I mean, it's, look, I mean, I can't even imagine what, I think the people that are calling themselves that do need to have a good time with themselves to understand why they do. Yeah, they need to check in with themselves and understand why are they saying that? What is it? What's making you feel like you need to say that? What are you trying to prove to yourself or what are you trying to prove to others? Because you don't need to do that. Um, you can make a difference in this world without going against facts and, you know, just making Absolutely. up your own stories. Because, you know, what just came to my mind, it's like somebody um, driving without a driving license and they get pulled over by the police. And the police say to them, where's your driving license? And they say, well, I'm a good driver. And he says, okay, where's your driving <laughs> exactly. license? Exactly, okay. <laughs> where's your driving license? Well, I believe I'm a good driver. And he says, okay, <laughs> so where's your driving license? Yeah, exactly. You just be like, yeah. your driver's yeah. license. Yeah, the, the facts are you don't have a driving license. You're just calling yourself a good driver because you believe you're a good driver. That because doesn't you feel that way. Because you feel that way and you think that way. And that's your belief that you're a good driver. But the fact is you do not have a driving license. So guess what? You're going to get done for it <laughs> either which way around. Exactly. And that's, <laughs> As a consequence. Say, and that's all we're trying to say. Like you see, like the girl focused on qualities, composure, um, how you talk, how you present yourself, especially how you dress. You see, and a lot of people, like, again, it's not an attack on women. And I want to make that very clear. And we try to see that in every podcast. It's not an attack on men or it's not an attack on women. No. It's to bring them together 
If you look at our logo, it's a man holding a woman. It's to bring togetherness. If you're dressing a certain way and like you're like on Instagram and you're showing off your body and you're showing off your bum cheeks and you're showing off your cleavage and you're expecting a man to take you seriously and want to put a ring on it, like, no, you have to slow it down, baby girl, and like not be as delusional. He might want to have fun with you, but he's not going to commit. He's just not. Your eye candy for him. Yeah. See, I, I can't. I mean, that's. I mean, that's uh, definitely a male perspective thing that I think I would take notice of. I definitely take notice of because I'm not a man, so I can't say. Well, that's how I see things. But hearing you say that. I would to totally take that on board. Not that I've done anything like that, but I definitely would not do that. Um, no, but you can even understand as a woman, if you were yes. a man and you were to see that, you're not going to be yes. like, yeah, I'm going to make her my wife. Yes, That's absolutely. who I'm going to make my wife. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with that. I mean, I, yeah, I can see it from that side of things, absolutely. But you're talking, I think, more facts. <laughs> yeah, because think about it. That's a bad investment. Yeah. Now, we're not saying that you can't do what you want to do. You want to dress however you want to dress. Do whatever you want to do. But understand that the men that you are going to get are probably not going to be the best men. Understand that. They are probably not going to be the highest quality of men. Or they're going to be men that are just going to want to pump and dump. They're not going to be want to be men that are actually going to want to commit. And you can't get mad at that. It's just like a man can't get mad at a woman if she doesn't want to date him because his financials are a mess. It is what it is. We can either get mad at it or we can adjust. Those are your options. Um, so I look, totally agree. We won't keep you guys longer. We will see you guys on Wednesday. Hopefully you enjoyed. That was a great discussion, actually. And uh, we are back, as I said, with banging new topics. We also have our clip channels on the on the, and we're gonna do that too. You're gonna see our clips channel as well. Um, so we have a lot coming for you guys. So just again, plug in, stay tuned, and we will speak to you guys soon. Take care, everyone, and thanks for tuning in. And press that like button and share. Much appreciated. <laughs>